Got the wire all on the pendle. Light screen. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another episode of the Dad and Daughter Show. I'm Dad, that's Daughter. Hi. Uh, she's home for college for a little bit. Yay. Um, she was just making fun of me. That, that's why she got this big old Kool-Aid smile on her face. <laughs> About my age and being vintage and being vintage. Anything twenty to ninety-nine years old is considered vintage. You are vintage, Dad. <sighs> apparently, uh, apparently, I'm 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 vintage from the I'm back from the old school. Tom song. What's it like growing up in the last millennia? What was it like in the nineteen hundreds? That's all I want to know. You grew up yeah. in the late nineteen hundreds. You know. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna answer that question. Actually, it was pretty. It was pretty cool for what it was. I mean, it did start out all that great, considering the fact that you know, you know, the cocaine, the cocaine pandemic came out. Uh, people wanted people answered answered uh, altercations with violence, and then uh, it didn't get as violent. People started standing up, and say, "Hey, we're not going to take this no more." And we didn't get as violent. But, of course, someone always had to F it up. So, then I had this Hi. back in 2005. So, <sighs> these Gen Zers, I swear. I mean, you produced me. I'm almost 20. I'm almost as vicious as you. And as one girl named Brandy once said, almost doesn't count. <laughs> so, what do you feel, what do you feel uh, has changed during your lifetime here? What, well, like my growing up versus your growing up? Yes. Um, well, I guess I'll start with, like, similarities. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a Walkman. Mom and Papa got me one, and then they got me a CD player. Yeah, it's my hand in the way. You know the plane outside, eating, the way. eating dirt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, flip phones, all that stuff that was happening, minus the Y2K panic. Um, well, you. <laughs> I said minus the Y2K panic because it was past 2K. Oh Lord. Um, yeah, DVD players, DVDs, VHSs. The smell of fresh cut grass on your knees, all that nostalgia stuff. All the same old shows. Barney, the Muppets, the old Muppets. All that stuff. At least for me, I looked at all that stuff. You know, I wasn't out of touch with the old. Yeah, she's she is the oldest 18-year-old you've ever seen in your life. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and I've known her all her life. <laughs> And then after the tech boom, of course, certain things changed, you know? We went from DVD players to tablets, from flip phones to smartphones. And then we just started chilling from there. Well, communication was broader than ever. Well, I grew up in the pre internet era. Mm -hmm. That means we actually went outside. I literally just said we also went outside. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're outside of my outside with two different outsides. Your outside was like a couple hours. Our outside was all day until the lights came on. Well, like we went outside at noon. We ain't come back. We ain't come back. We ain't, we we ain't come back till about five six o'clock when it was time for dinner. Then after dinner, we washed our hands, and if there were time, and we washed the dishes too. And if it was time, if it was still sunny outside, we went right back outside. They ain't come in until eight or nine o'clock. That was the summer. I used to do stuff like that. When now, I was a kid, I used to do stuff like that. Now, so our games were, of course, jump rope, freeze tag. Uh, we had a ball. We played Same ball, games. wall ball, and catch a curl. Well, that that that's that, that's a, that's when we got a little older. We were teen, fresh ass teenagers. Catch a girl, get a girl. That's that, that that's the name of the game. You said Christmas Street, right? Jack has I no. feel like I feel I feel like you might have. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I did? 
Let me put the GPS back on. <laughs> See what happens when we stop following our dreams. Oh, it is to turn here. So, um, I'm actually going to pick up her boyfriend and my mother, and we're going to uh, Olive Garden for her birthday because she will not be here that day. Yeah. Uh, as, as everybody know from my last couple of videos, she is a student at Albright College. Um, she plans on graduating in three years instead of four, which is you know pretty cool. I, I think in my in my life, and everybody should hope the best for her. I definitely do. But you know, when we was outside, we was outside. We had fun. Curfew came out. I think we're the only. I think we're the only generation that kind of obeyed curfew. Like, like we. When I say kind, I like. We didn't. We weren't on somewhere we weren't supposed to be yet. We were. At someone's porch. We were on our block. We were on someone's porch. Question. Just. Have you played near creeks as a kid? I have, but in the Boy Scouts. Oh, okay. I was in Girl Scouts. For a short while. Yeah, I was in, I was in the Boy Scouts for a few years. Uh, I got free Girl Scout cookies for years. Ain't tell me nothing about it. Anyway, <laughs> Bertha took me out of it, and not too long after. So. Oh, she's like this is on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah, she don't look at these. Um, <laughs> yeah, she took me out of it like not too long after. So, but I still played outside because you know there were creeks outside. There was a neighbor. There were the neighborhood kids I used to play with. I used to, you know that hill that went down next to Bertha's old house at Timber Creek? Yes. I used to take my Razor scooter, right, go to the top of that hill, no protection, slide all the way down. I don't know, this bright ass yellow house, I forgot. It's actually the one with the bright door. And I'm gonna call him outside, cause you know, Yeah, but anyway, she tells us that we're gonna do some more pickups. Um, Listen y'all. Let me know what's good. Let me know what y'all like to see. You know what I'm saying? You know, I play games on my channel. You know, I do share content. I don't claim the rights or money from them. And so, so if, if I share something from somebody, that means I like it. And I want to share it with you guys. It has nothing to do with me stealing. I'm not stealing. Not that, that would require me making money off of it. I am not making a dime. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just sharing stuff for everyone to enjoy. And if you want to see something different, let me know. And we can see if we make it happen. And I'm the I'm the iconic HSW2K, aka dad, daughters in here. And I'll see y'all next time.